The player lock in FC25 is absolutely game changing and it's simple, it's not that complicated. Okay, how you perform the player lock, you need to press down L3 and R3. Then from there, as you guys can see, the indicator change. Pay attention to my controller and my player. Now you can flick your right stick in any direction to whom uh, you want the player to control. Then you can pass to him if you want to. Like say, if I flick to that player, if I want to be in control of him again, I have to put down my right, left stick and my right stick, I have to press it down. So it's that simple. Anyways, guys, if this video helps you out so far, smash a like and subscribe to the channel now. I'm going to show you some examples. Let's get straight into it. Watch how I finish my opponents with the player lock. There is two things I want you guys to pay attention to. To my player and also my controller. And before I get into the examples, I want to tell you guys, you guys struggling with us, practice it on squad battles, put it on beginner or practice it on kickoff. Okay, have a look here. Pay close attention, guys. Okay, there, watch my controller. Rashford, there's a ball. There's a, a, a Rashford is about to receive the ball, the ball user. Okay, watch, he receives the ball. Okay, I already know what I'm gonna do here. I pre pre press down my right stick and my left stick to activate the player lock, and that player runs into position. I get the. I almost scored. Yeah, I'm doing player lock fakes. I will look another player lock fake, it confuses the opponent, and I almost got a goal there. And you always, when you're using the player lock, you always want to use it when. Basically, you're getting into the empty space. Look again, player lock fakes, and I'm trying to make sure there's empty space. You look again, player lock fakes, cancelling it. You guys see again there? And I'm just trying to, you know, find the uh, opportunity there where I can make, like, you know, a player run into a certain position. You see, because that's the purpose on the, of the player lock. You can choose where you want your players to run, not like creative runs, not like a... Uh, L1 trigger, you can choose like yeah, look here. This is a perfect example. Like play a lock there into Rashford, and look, I get a beautiful goal. So you see, before my opponent, before I receive the ball, receive the ball, I already know what I'm doing to. Now you see, I'm looking at the empty space. You guys see, and look, I get a beautiful goal, and I'm a, and I'm basically ahead of this game. Yeah, look, play a lock, but yeah, I actually did it in a wrong way. They play a lock and look there. My player who has the ball currently, he doesn't have space. So yeah, I actually made a big mistake. I wasn't watching my opponent who my opponent was selecting. So you see when you're doing the player lock, your player who has the ball have to have space like there. Look, player locking, trying to make Rashford run into space. And you see there was ample amount of space for my player who received the ball, the current ball holder. That's what's also one of the most important things. You see when you're performing the player lock, as you guys can see, look space. It's very, very, very important. If you want to be successful with the player lock. Now you see, I was thinking ahead, okay, player lock there. And I was thinking of Rashford to try bring him into space. And you see what normal L1 triggers, uh, creative runs, you can't really do that. Look, I got Rashford into a perfect position. I just couldn't basically uh, capitalize, uh, capitalize on a goal here. Yeah, look, player lock. Yeah, I made a huge, huge, huge mistake. You guys will see. That's why it's not just about knowing the player lock. It's knowing how to use it in a correct way. Look at the player lock there. Look, a little too late. You see, I could have quickly let Rashford come into two position. Into a perfect position. Instead, I never do that there. And some people make this with the player lock. Look, my opponent ended up getting the ball because I was too long on the player lock. Yeah, look. Player lock, trying to bring Bruno Fernandes into position, perfect position. And I almost ended up scoring. So, yo, yo guys, that wraps the end of the player lock. You guys saw the examples. Now guys, click here if you guys want to learn about this deadly dribbling technique. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Cheers guys.